What up everybody, it's your boy Jess Brandon, back with another great video. And today I am beyond excited because today finally marks the return of My Honest Opinion. For those of you who are unaware, My Honest Opinion is a series that I do where I go to local gun stores and big box retailers, grab a couple boxes of ammo off the shelf, take it to the range and see how it performs. Now, I haven't done this in about a year simply because there's been no ammo on the shelf, but it looks like things are finally starting to turn around. I was able to go to multiple gun stores and actually pick up some stuff. So we're actually gonna bring the series back and we're gonna start it off with a bang, no pun intended, two for one special. Today we are talking about a Gila 22LR Super Extra. More specifically, the 38 grain hodl points and the 40 grain uh, round points. Now, this stuff retails for approximately $2.99 a box for both the hollow points and the round points. That's about six cents per round. The 38 grain has an advertised velocity of 1,280 feet per second. The 40 grain round point has an advertised velocity of about 1,255 feet per second. So there's a difference of about 25 feet per second. Are you going to notice it? No, not really. Aguila, actually, there's not much info about them on the internet. I do know that they are more geared toward competition shooters. So I was actually really surprised to find this stuff where I found it. Um, it is made in Mexico and imported. They use their own primers and their own gunpowder, which, uh, you know, may or may not be your thing especially if you're one of those made in the usa people that's something to kind of be aware of but you know for me i had no problems with it they had ammo on the shelf i bought ammo <laughs> so here we go so what i did was i bought four boxes of each i bought four boxes of the super extra 38 grain hollow points and i bought four boxes of the 40 grain round points all told 200 rounds of each and I was really excited to shoot this stuff because like I said they there hasn't been any ammo on the shelf and everywhere I went actually had some of this stuff but I didn't have my hopes up high I wanted to give it the best chance to succeed so what I did was I shot it out of my two most reliable 22 LR pistols I used the Ruger SR22 and I used the TX22 by Taurus so off to the range I went, loaded up my magazines. Once again, 200 rounds of each, 200 rounds of the 38 grain hollow point, 200 rounds of the 40 grain round point, solid point, whatever you want to call it, it's the same stuff. And out of the 200 rounds, I had one failure, just one. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't believe that it was any fault of the ammo. I believe it was a fault of the magazine. So I was shooting the... Um, 40 grain solid point out of the TX-22 and I'll actually show you what happened. This is a TX-22 magazine. It was about the third round in and it went to extract and stripped a new round in and this is what happened. Bullet sat up in the magazine, did not go into the chamber, wouldn't extract the spent shell and wouldn't load this one in. Once again, I don't blame the ammo for that. I know I've said it a thousand times before, the TX-22 magazines are kind of crappy, at least the four I have are. So you kind of have to really be careful with the way you load them. So for me, a failure is a failure. So I, I wrote it down, I took note of it, but I don't blame the ammo for that. The one negative thing I can say, well, let me go back to the, the shooting expectations, the shooting experience, first of all. Um, all the other rounds went off without a hitch. Uh, that's a 99.9% accurate, 99.5% accuracy, actually, for those of you keeping track mathematically. Um, the hollow points fed 100%. Uh, the soft point, I mean, the round points, I had the one failure. So that's 99.5% accuracy. The one negative I will say about the Aguila is it smells weird. Now, I know they use their own primers. 
I know they use their own smokeless gunpowder and it's different than the stuff that Federal or Winchester or Remington used to use. And it has this, like, this really weird smell, almost kind of like, um, I don't really know how to describe like natural gas smell to it. It was, it smells like you left your stove on and walked out of the room for 20 minutes. You know, it, it's really weird. But, um, other than that, that was the only complaint I had about this stuff. I actually liked it so much that I went home and I ordered a thousand rounds of each. So I'm really glad that it worked, especially out of my two most reliable handguns, because if it didn't, if it wouldn't have fed and fired or functioned in either the SR-22 or the TX-22, there'd be no use for me to have it. Those are my two most reliable 22s, period, and two of my favorite handguns. So if I couldn't shoot it out of that, I wasn't going to try it into something like the Glock 44 or my Ruger 1022. So I'm glad they worked and I liked them. So I was so happy with them. I actually went back and I bought a thousand rounds of each. So I have um, about a thousand rounds of the hollow points coming and I have a thousand rounds of the solid points coming. So I'm going to do a lot more shooting with this. I'm going to do some shooting with it out of the Glock 44 to see how it works, see how it holds up. And I'm also going to do some long range shooting out of the Ruger 1022 just to make sure that this stuff works. But for now, I am really, really happy. I am glad there's ammo starting to become available again, especially around here locally. I know it was really dry for a while. So you guys let me know in the comment section below. If you use the Gila, if you have your experience with it, positive or negative, let me know. And let me know what the ammo situation is looking like in your area. Until next time, I am just Brandon. This is a Gila 22 Long Rifle Super Extra, both the 38 grain hollow point and the 40 grain solid point. And this has been my honest opinion.